How are you lads? In this video I will be searching for the best pint of Guinness in Cork City by... with a possible feature of Beamish and Murphy's for you Corkonians, especially for you lads. This video is brought to you by me good old pals, Manscaped. It's coming up to Black Friday lads and of course coming up to the big C. I think, I think we can start saying it now lads. Don't say the C word, I'm saying it now. Let's be honest lads, it's creeping up. It's gonna creep up on all of us. If you're not ready, you're gonna be a schmuck. You don't wanna be there Christmas Eve in the shops like an absolute donkey queuing up for hours and hours. No, 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 no. Get on to manscaped.com, use the code PINTS20 and get yourself 20% off plus free shipping. Christmas presents sorted early. You do it every year. Yeah, you, I'm looking at you. You do it every year. You wait till the last minute. 20th of December, you go, Alex, I haven't bought a thing. Jay is about to head into the shop, sweating your absolute hole off, lugging yourself around the shopping center. The big discounts on the performance package 4.0, of course, including the lawnmower. Cream of the crop, this thing, creme de la creme in terms of male grooming products. Then you've got the crop preserver and the ball toner to just keep everything smooth and silky down south. So it's called Pints 20 for 20% off plus free shipping. Also, I just wanted to add, especially because it's the month of November, Manscaped do a lot to raise awareness around testicular cancer, especially in men between the age of 15 and 35. So if that's not a good reason to support them, then I don't know what is. You support them, you support me, you know how it works, lads. Over to manscaped.com. Now let's roll the footage. The creamy pints in Cork City. Enjoy, lads. Right, lads. Cork City, boy. Another massive, massively popular town in Ireland. First things first, Cork is probably more known for its Beamish and Murphys, but I am not the Beamish guru, I am not the Murphys guru. I said it on my Instagram story, I said, lads, would you rather see me drinking Guinness or Beamish or Murphys? It was about 65% said stick to the Guinness lad. You might see an Alpine to Beamish or Murphy's in the video, I can't promise anything. We'll see how we get on with the Guinness. Most requested pub by far, the Castle Inn, then Mutton Lane, then you'd got the Oval and Shin A, and then High B was fifth. I don't know if I'll get the High B. Cork City, let's see what the creamy soup is like. Right lads, pub one, the Oval Bar, a highly requested pub. Let's go in, see what the creamers are slurping like. Right, that's pub one, the oval bar. I had to sit outside. It was quite dark inside. A lot of pubs to be like that. Um, even if it's even when it's bright outside, a lot of pubs are quite just dark inside. So if I film, you can barely see me. So they have a lovely setup outside. So I said, "Fuck it, why not?" Out you go. Point looks good. We're slanted, lads. Cheers to Cork. We're here. We made it. Pint was given to me for free for five euro. It's a very good price, and I do try to pay. A lot of people say, "Oh well, if you get it for free, you're probably going to bump up the score a bit." But if I go to pay with the card or even cash or whatever, he won't take the money. Then what am I supposed to do? So uh, these days I'm trying my best to. If I get it for free, I'm trying to ask what's the price. So five euro in here, gave it for free, but. Nice gesture, but it's not going to make a difference to the score, obviously. Very good point. Very good point. Also, a glass. Creamy head. A couple of bubbles in the head, I noticed. But still looked good. Nice cold temperature. Can't say much about the look of it. Yeah, first impressions of cork. I like it a lot, and um, not too mad, like I was only in Galway last week and I got there, I was like, Jesus, this is mad, nearly overwhelming, like, but first impressions of Cork, maybe because it's a Sunday, I sure was in Galway on a Thursday, I like Cork, never actually been here in my life, um, and yeah, I'm liking the vibe, it's pretty chilled out, nothing too mad, I don't think the pubs will be too crazy, which I like, so yeah, happy out. Fun fact, I haven't seen one other person drinking Guinness. There's a few lads over there drinking Murphy's. A lad went in and asked for a Beamish. 
So my heart is telling me I'm going to have to try it. Murphy's in a beam at some stage, but then I'm not going to go into five, six pulls of a Guinness. I had a beam at some Murphy's after that. Oh, jeez, tough life. First world problems, lads. I get on to score on this bad boy. Very solid point. A very good stick. Nothing really terrible to say about it. Head stay to the end. I'll give an 8.1 out of 10 for the oval. Serious stick. Right, lads, Morton Lane. Uh, I can't really see into the pub. I can just see the sign. Seems like it's down an alleyway. I'm saying now I'm getting kind of hipsterish vibes. I could be a million miles off. That's the vibes I'm getting uh, before I go in. Let's see what the cream is like. Three lads, Morton Lane, slancher fellas. Hmm. Let's see, non-branded glass. There's always a bit of a debate. People, some people like the non-branded. Some people think it's essential to have Guinness written on the glass. But when I say some people, it's only weird, obsessive creeps like myself. 99% of the lads don't give a bollocks, just give me the fucking cream and let me slurp 10 of them. Just chilling in my new tea, no big deal. It's pretty nice though, isn't it? I've got the candle, candle here. Candle lit dinner for one, hold the food, keep the pints coming. What a life. Yeah, Mutton Lane, I'm impressed so far. I said on the way in, I was getting kind of a hipster sort of vibe off the place. You walk down that lane, very, very cool to be fair. You could say hipster vibes, and once you walk in the door, the place is proper old man, cork till they fucking die in here, corks will fall over the wall, candles. Very cool, old school pub. So yeah, if you're a hipster, leave your beanie cap at the door, walk in and have a regular pint. Only messing lads, love yous all, yup the hipsters. Good point that, good point. Not exceptional but very good point it is better than the oval yeah it is better than the oval I said I was gonna sit outside again I said let's switch it up you know inside outside up down downtown move it all around town beep up and hoop up and there's no stopping to the sound of the Cork City beat you know what I mean that's called filibuster talking absolute shite out your hole so you don't have to drink the pint in two seconds just talk 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 that's what I've gotten quite good at I'm not saying what I'm saying is of any value to anyone. Well, I've gotten good at just making, I've gotten good at filling silence. I could talk forever about nothing. Oh, burpee, burpee. Yeah, good L point. Price, I'm doing my best lads to keep up with the prices. Five euro for this point. So Oval and Mutton Lane, both five on the dot again. You're happy with that? Dublin City Centre, you're talking five, probably average five seventy, five eighty. so five euro, I'll take it all day. Ever so slightly dearer than Galway, but still quite cheap. Look at a sticky situation, lads. Look at that beauty. Oh, baby. Beautiful stuff. We're gonna go 8.3 out of 10. So yeah, oval was 8.1, 8.3 out of 10 for Mutton Lane. Very solid spot. On to the next. Kevin, how are we? That's bad. Good, good, good. We were running into the retail television. Good. Good. Jesus, me fucking hurt. Right lads, pub three, Shin A, I would say probably the third most requested pub in Cork City. Um, high B, I think is gonna miss out another highly requested one. So sorry to the lads in High B, not that they give a bollocks. 
I think I'm going to go to, again, we're playing it fast and loose. I think I'm going to go to the Castle Inn last, have my Guinness, and then maybe get a Beamish and a Murphy side by side. I don't know. We don't know what we're at. Clueless as always, but we march on. Let's go into Shin A. Right lads, Shin A. I'm fucking sweating, I won't lie, but I don't have time to take the hoodie off because the paint will go bad if I do that. I'm filming this on November the 14th and it's about fucking 18 degrees outside. I don't know lads, it doesn't look good. Huh. Slaunch your lads, Shin A. I could potentially <coughs> be about to cancel myself and embarrass myself to no end. And I'm not going to Google it because I'm fairly certain. But I'm going to go for it anyway. Shin A is Irish for that's it. Please be correct or else I'm fucked. I'm not gonna lie to you lads, I just googled it, I had to. I was shitting myself that it was wrong. It's right. Shin A, that's it. Mm -mm. Very decent point, very good decent point. Mm, I'm liking that. I can see why it was heavily recommended. Again, I don't know if when I'm in these kind of darker spots is the blur kind of in and out or is my face focused, but I don't think you really give a bollocks because you're probably just throwing this video on in the background when you're work from home or ironing your fucking shirt or scratching your balls, so overthinking once again. Also a strange one, like I always say, when I go into a pub, I don't expect them to know me. If I was going in, expecting them to know me, I would just make me a pretentious prick, full stop. So I go into every single pub, no matter where it is, and I, I say, how are you? You know, sometimes they'll be like to me, oh, well, is it again, this is it? And then you're like, right, grand, he obviously knows the crack. So I work away. But in here, I came into Shin A, it was very rare because I came in and the guy hadn't a clue what Guinness Guru was, which is totally what you would expect. But he ended up giving me the pint for free. I don't know if that's ever happened. Usually when they don't know you, they just go, yeah, whatever, uh, fucking. But I did ask, five euro for the pint. But he kind of said, no, look, I'll be interested to see what you say on the video. Pint is good. I'll be honest, I haven't had, a, 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 as McGregor would say, I'm blown away. The guru was blown away. If you haven't seen all that crack on the Instagram, go and look at it. Yeah, I'm not blown away, as the McGregor fellow would say. All the points have been very solid, none have been incredible, and this is just kind of in the same team as the last three I've had. You know, Castellane was the most requested by far, so I'm, I'm presuming I'll get the best one in the Castellane, but we're not in the Castellane, we're in Shin A. That's it. Correct. Every point I've had so far in Cork has had a very good stick. And whether the stick matters or not, I don't care. It's gonna sell hoodies, it's gonna sell t-shirts, so for me it matters big time. Stick is major, stick is crucial. But yeah, serious stick, good old style glass, not even a hint of a new style glass around here. Same as Galway, Dublin. Get your finger out of your hole and get all those new style glasses. I say new, they came in in 2012. When are they not gonna be new? I don't care. Get all those new style glasses. Take them to the bleeding bottle bank and put every single one of them in there and we'll march on forever with the old side glass. No one wants the new ones. Fact, and you call me a moany old bastard, I don't care. I speak for everyone when I say that. Another very solid point. I was, I was, we had the oval, was a solid one, not incredible. Mutton Lane was a bit better. This is probably, 
Ooh, 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 ooh. I'm gonna have to put, this is right in between them. I'm gonna have to put this at the 8.2. We literally have an 8.1, an 8.2, and an 8.3. Hopefully Castellan gives us like an 8.5 or something, but yeah, good stick, good old style glass. Head stayed creamy to the end, 8.2. So fairly similar to the rest of them. Good point, cork's been solid so far. Still waiting for my mind to be blown. Shinne, means that's it. That's why I said Shinne, because it means that's it. Chine. Right lads, the castle in, there it is right there. Hopefully the creme de la creme of Cork City Guinness uh, might have an Albemish and a Murphy's after. I don't know what way it's gonna go. But yeah, this was by far, probably twice as much as any other place recommended in Cork. So I'm presuming I'll get a serious point in here. Only opened about four, half four, so. It's a bit like Bows in Dublin, only opens at four, half four. They don't give a bollocks, they open when they want. I hope it's a point to mimic Bows in Dublin. Oh yeah, Castle Inn, let's have it large. Lads, this point looks insane. Look at the damage on that, oh my God. Right lads, damage to beat the band. By Jesus, by far the most recommended pub in Cork. Um, not a single bubble in the head. Looks like it's gonna live up to its name. Serious looking point. Jeez, if he poured another milliliter into that, it would have spilled. That is skill. Slot you lads. Mm. Oh Christ. You weren't wrong, lads. Ye were not wrong, I must say that. You can't say yous around here. Ye were not wrong, lads, about the castle in. The cream of that. Might as well be drinking a pint of milk. Barman came over and said, I wasn't sure, because I gave him the spiel. Didn't know Guinness Guru, grand. He said, I wasn't sure whether to put it in a new glass or an old glass. I said, you were dead right to put it in the old glass, yeah, mad bastard. Cream, 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 cream. All you can say about that. Bit surprised. Um, it's funny, I was expecting. So there's only two other people in here. I heard the barman saying like Thursday, Friday, Saturdays would be busy, Sundays wouldn't be busy. But it's the least busy of the pubs I've been in. It is quite central. But it's gas because this pub is really lit up. The rest of the pubs are also dark. This pub is like, yeah, I don't know. It's, it's probably a bit too bright for my liking, but I don't really give a shit what the place looks like. I'm all about the pint, but yeah, I noticed that. I thought it would be hard to get a fucking seat in here. Again, it's only open. Ah, it's open an hour and a half at this stage, so. I don't know, a bit like Bows, and I don't know, I compared it to Bows outside. When I went to Bows in Dublin, there was fucking no one in there, and that was a Sunday. Honestly, about similar time, six o'clock, so. It kind of, let me keep drinking. It just kind of shows that, don't just go to which, whichever. It's like when you're going to restaurants or pubs, you see a busy pub, you see a busy restaurant. And obviously if you're with a group of lads and you're trying to go out and have the crack, yeah, go to the busy one. But if you're looking for the good Guinness, it's not necessarily just go to the busiest pub. Do your research, watch a few Guinness Gear videos. But yeah, no, it's interesting. It really reminds me, nothing, I'm not saying the decor or anything reminds me of Bows, but just that same scenario. Last pub I did that day in Dublin, no one in the place, and a savage pint. That's a serious creamer. The only thing I noticed, I could be losing my mind. I feel like it could be a degree or two colder. But maybe that's from drinking too much Guinness extra cold over in the UK. But no, it's an absolute creamer. It's by, it's definitely the best pint I've had here. Oh yeah. Very good, very good. Creamy heads, staying all the way to the end. It's a really good solid pint. You've got an 8-1 in the oval. 
8-2 in Shin A, 8-3 in Mutton Lane. This is going to be... It's not... Again, it's not... It's not going to be anywhere in the nines. It's not an absolutely mesmerizing pint. But it's very creamy. Serious dome, which also a glass. Shtick is solid. And it tastes really, really good. I'm going to go... Eight point five out of ten takes the win. We kind of knew that was going to be the case. No real surprises here, lads. I've been talking about the Castellan for the whole day, but yeah, eight point five, a very good point. I would have fifty more if I could, and that's going to do it for the Guinness in Cork. So as the barman was showing me that they keep the kegs under the taps, most pubs as we know would have a, a cold room in a different area of the pub, they call it a short draw and a lot of pub owners will say that that's what will give you a really good pint of Guinness, a short draw. Should I give it a score? I don't really see the point of giving it a score because it's not like it's a point of Guinness. I'm not the Beamish guru. I'm sure it's a top tier Beamish. But for me, likelihood to have another is like six out of 10. I just don't really like that roasted flavor, but it's good, it's creamy, serious damage on it. Lovely glass. Um, but yeah, just not, not exactly my cup of tea. You could make a new slogan. Instead of not my cup of tea, you could say, not my pint of G. But we'll keep that one in the holster for the merch next year. Yeah, not a huge fan of the Beamish, but different strokes for different folks. Right lads, the camera has died. I'm on the phone. Pint of Murphy's, let's have it. Launcher, lads. Looks good. Again, good damage. No bubbles in the foam. All style glass. That's not bad. Not, not a million miles off to fucking beamish in my mind, to be honest. Barman basically said. Guinness is kind of in the middle. Beamish will be a bit more towards that bitter sort of coffee roasted taste. 
and Murphy's would be a bit more towards the sort of sweeter end. Um, I don't really feel that. I, I feel like it's similar to the Beamish myself. Anyone from Cork watching this is going, this lad is a fucking EG. Yeah, fair enough. But yeah, just not. It's, it's like that. If you, whenever anyone tried their first pint of Guinness, no one liked it. And if you say you liked it when you tried it when you were 18 years old, you're bullshitting. Yeah, not a million miles from the Beamish, for me, to be honest. Um, I think I'd struggle to tell them apart. Guinness is just not as much of a roasted coffee flavor off it. And those two, the Beamish or the Murphy's, the Murphy's is a little bit sweeter, not as bitter. But again, I'll be honest, lads, it's doing fuck all for me. And I've said it before and I'll say it again, I've no affiliation to Guinness. Obviously, I love Guinness and the Guinness Guru. But I've no like contractual obligations to be like, can this is better than anything else? But first impressions, honestly, I'm not really fussed with either of them. And I don't know if I'd ever even have a pint of being Mr. Murphy's again in my life. Guinness for the win for me. Yeah, I'd probably, I think I'd say, what, six for the Beamish? I'd probably go like 6.57 for the Murphy's is a bit better, but just not my cup of tea at all. Not my point of G at all. So there you have it lads. Guinness Guru takes on Cork slash cheeky pint of creamy beamy and Murphy's as well. Um, yeah, just not really impressed with the Beamish or Murphy's. Not, I wouldn't say I'm not impressed. Just not my cup of tea at all. So I will be sticking to the Guinness. No fear of me turning into the Murphy's or the Beamish Guru anytime soon. Again lads, thank you very much for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Merch available soon around the end of November. Keep an eye on the Instagram. All the best, lads. Keep her lit. Good luck.